Some useful blocks. With the editing turned on, if we click the Add Block link in the nav drawer, we can see that there are many blocks which can be added to our course, and it's worth exploring the list by adding them and seeing what they do, and by looking at the Moodle documentation on each block. Remember that the mobile app doesn't display blocks, and if you're on a small screen, blocks will display underneath the course sections. So think carefully before adding a block to ensure it is relevant to your students' learning. Here are some examples. Later in the course, we'll learn how to add quizzes and assignments. And then, if you add the Activity Results block, you can add a competitive element to your course page where the highest scorers, or even the lowest scorers, can be displayed. You can use this block with any gradable activity. The Comments block allows your learners to add short comments to either your course as a whole or to a particular activity. Latest Announcements displays in a block the notices you've made in your Announcements forum. You can also add a random glossary entry block. Later in the course we look at adding a glossary where learners can contribute items to the glossary and then the random glossary entry block will allow entries to be displayed on your course page directly. Upcoming events displays in a block items you've added to the calendar which you can access from the nav drawer or by adding the calendar block itself. Let's take a look at another course with the standard boost theme and we can see examples of blocks. There is the latest announcements block Random Glossary Entry Activity Results and the Comments block. Students can delete their own comments if they wish and teachers can delete any inappropriate comments. So why not go and take a look at some of the other useful blocks you can add to your course.